Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on a new topic that is OpenSS publication or you can say the OpenSS initiative also. So this is there in module 4 uh, of research and publication ethics that we are covering. You can find this one and I have already prepared few videos on uh, research and publication ethics um, that I will keep it in the i button so you can view those videos as well. So this uh, particular topic when we uh, when we say open SS publication many of you might be knowing that once somebody you know publish an article and it, if it is published in open SS journal that has to be you know freely available to everyone to all without any cost. So there should not be any involvement of cost and uh, with limited restriction with regard to reuse so when we say uh, you know subscription based publication that time there will be restriction for reusing of that document or even for downloading of that particular you know document or to, to you know to assess that particular document so here this is very much important when we talk about with respect to you know author reader and funder if uh, if somebody publishes a work in a open assist journal so what are the different routes uh, when we talk about open ss journal so there is uh, like gold open ss and green open ss this will discuss the first one is gold open ss so when we say gold open ss that means the final version of the article that has to be freely available and permanently accessible for everyone and uh, just immediately after the publication so the copyright uh, for this uh, uh, published article will be remain with the author and most of the permission barrier will be removed so that is the benefit of gold open ss uh, you know publication if somebody publish and this this is this is applicable for you know uh, journal which uh, have fully open ss sort of publication and uh, which a few of the journal might have hybrid option like uh, they do have a subscription based journal um, and also they offer open ss publication so there also it is uh, you know if they offer open ss publication and they they might have gold open ss uh, way of publication as well so you have to look into the specific journal and the publisher the overview of this fully open ss journal can be found at doaz directory of open ss journal and there is again a tip that you know many of the time uh, when we talk about open ss journal people uh, they take it in different ways so just because journal offer free access to content that does not mean that it is open access as described ever gold open access allows to reuse the work as long as the author are acknowledged and they are cited as they retain the copyright simply allowing everyone with the internet connection to read and um, content uh, you know does not constitute gold open access so that we have to take into con consideration this uh, you know acknowledge and citation this we've been talking about when we have discussed about self plagiarism plagiarism so those videos also you can explore um, uh, if you follow my research and publication uh, ethics playlist uh, you'll get uh, the videos in a sequence and manner so the second uh, you know route that that is there is the green open ss because when we talk about initiative also uh, towards go uh, open ss publication so these are two you know path one is like you have to uh, let's say if there is some sort of apc or charges that you have to pay for you know availing this gold open ss that is one way and there is again green open ss where you know they are uh, referred to as self archiving so it is a practice uh, um, of placing a you know version of the author manuscript into repository making it freely accessible for everyone that particular version can be uh, deposited into repository is uh, dependent on the funder or or the publisher so that again you have to check the journal website or the publisher website related to green open access you know policy whether they they allow it or not so there is uh, you know uh, we'll discuss more on that so unlike gold open ss the copyright for this uh, article usually you know remain with the publisher and um, 
or if it is you know society affiliated or let's say you know or that is some sort of restriction to that particular work or for reusing of the you know content so that you have to look into so there are like uh, individual self archiving policies by journal and publisher that determine the terms and condition for example which article version may be used when the article can be made openly accessible in the repository and that is also called as embargo period so this uh, this you can see whether the journal offer embargo period or not a list of uh, the publisher self archiving policies can be found at serpa romeo database so this is again um, we'll be exploring this topic also Serp what is serpa romeo i will take you to that website and we'll check uh, uh, how you can you know see the journal uh, policy related to self archiving or the copyright related you know policy so that is the so next is uh, when we talk about uh, benefit of gold open access uh, that is what you know uh, that um, in a short manner we will describe so this is you can see like um, increase uh, citation and reuse or usage of that particular document that is possible is easy, easy compliance with institutional and funder uh, you know mandate so that also it is there then retention of copyright by the author then fast impact because it is uh, being available to all you know uh, to the scientific community and uh, th that is where you know uh, that is then a greater public uh, and engagement also so that that we have to uh, uh, that is the benefit that we will get so i'm not going in detail of it you can uh, view those uh, at a later stage then apc also that is why apc is there there is a lot of debate on this uh, why they need to you know author need to pay for their own work to make their scientific uh, data available to the scientific community so that i'm not going into that particular uh, debate now so while uh, in the journal they are talking about apc cover there there that is mainly of editorial work technical infrastructure innovation let's say uh, production of article market of the journal content then customer service or what they are you know charging for the apc for for gold open access or open access publication and there are few journal also you can refer where um, they do not even charge a penny for making your article as open access uh, you know uh, publication so those are also there so you have to explore and you have to see wh where and uh, what sort of uh, fund you have or what is your you know way of um, addressing whether you want to go with the gold open access or green open access even if there is a possibility of embargo period and uh, you want your article uh, to be uh, available with your self archiving sort of or institutional um, repository that is possible then also um, uh, you can do that and you can make your um, document to be accessible to to everyone so that is up to you to uh, to take a stand and to decide how to proceed then copyright and uh, license uh, here also uh, who retained the copyright this already we have discussed and this is another thing which uh, uh, many of you might uh, come across when we talk about licensing common licensing or creative common licenses so this is there so here we can have a small uh, sort of uh, let's say discussion over here where when we talk about creative commons that provide free and easy to use copyright licenses giving uh, the public the right to share use even build on you know author creative work so the non-profit organization cc also protect the people who use an author work so they do not have to worry about copyright in fragment as long as they abide uh, by the specified you know condition so this uh, licensing of open access article under creative common license uh, has evolved as standard for open access publication one of the most liberal cc licenses for publishing scientific article is creative common attribution that is cc by by license and as it allows public to adopt 
and share the author work even for commercial use as long as the author is properly cited several other licenses do exist that you have to look into the specific journal uh, or publisher you know uh, website and then uh, you can um, uh, take advantage of that so this is what you know creative common licenses and but again we are talking about proper citation so wherever uh, we talk about uh, you know how you can able to avoid sort of uh, uh, let's say you know um, issues ethical issues so this is one way um, to address so this is not the you know complete way of protection but this is one path to address then again uh, if we this is again uh, how to arrange fund and mandate then open access versus subscription journal also this is again uh, we have already discussed on the predatory journal and uh, how to avoid uh, publication in a predatory journal um, uh, that also in the research and publication ethics uh, playlist that is last uh, i think video of module 3 the predatory journal and publisher that you can view so here they have uh, they've been talking about you know um, um, why there is a need of open access publication and they have to abide uh, the ethical guideline that being provided by COPE committee on publication ethics and uh, again uh, while you select your journal what sort of thing that you have to look into that also is being discussed like uh, uh, you need to recognize the journal then you have to come across the title then uh, um, uh, whether it is you know of your particular field or not and uh, whether any of your colleagues have already published or communicated to that journal then uh, easy uh, that is where uh, if you click on this wave link uh, where uh, they have given the ch think check and submit uh, a sort of questionnaire that uh, being there where you have to click on that then it will guide you whether you know you are uh, on the right track or not so here again you can uh, as, uh, easily see who uh, published uh, the title and can uh, contact them via email or phone and uh, then you can uh, you know decide so this is up to you and the journal is indexed or uh, in which database then journal member are of standard or uh, and you can check their affiliation and uh, again you can relate this with uh, the 16 um, transparency principle that i have already discussed so that is also one way of identification of uh, fake uh, or predatory journal uh, which uh, you can uh, avoid so this is there uh, about uh, openness publication and